continue. The various literary and scriptural sources seem to have culminated in the Ayodhya Mahatma, composed somewhere in the 12th or 13th century AD. The Ayodhya Mahatma describes the various holy spots and extols the pilgrimage to the city of Ayodhya as the best means of salvation. <laughs> The Ayodhya Mahatma profusely eulogizes the Janmabhumi shrine and gives its exact location. The merits of a visit by a devotee observing the vow on the Ram Naomi day to the Janmasthan are elaborately described. It is said that a man who has visited the Janmasthan will not be born again, even if he does not offer gifts or practice ascetism or go on pilgrimages or offer sacrifice offerings. Lakhs of Hindus kept going to Ayodhya passionately and devoutly believing in whatever was stated in the Ayodhya Mahatma. Then in the year 1526, an invader from across the borders invaded India. He hailed from the province of Fargana in Central Asia. His name, Zahiruddin Muhammad Babur. On 16th of March 1527, Babur defeated Rana Sangha and conquered Delhi. That was the beginning of the Mughal era in India. Soon thereafter, Baba's lieutenant Mir Banki, on Baba's express orders, marched towards Ayodhya. The text of Baba's orders to Mir Banki have been printed in the 6th July 1924 issue of the Modern Review, published from Delhi. It reads, Shahin Shah Hind Malikul Jaha Baad Shah Babar Ke Hukm Wa Hazrat Jalal Shah Ke Hukm Ke Bamujib Ayodhya Me Ram Janma Bhoomi Ko Mismar Kar Ke Us Ki Jagay Par Usi Ke Malwe Wa Masale Se Masjid Tamir Kar Ne Ki Ijazat De Di Gai Hai Bajar Ye Is Hukm Naame Ke Tum Ko Bata Or Itila Se Aagah Kiya Jata Hai Ke Hindustan Ke Kisi Soobay Se Koi Hindu Ayodhya Na Jane Paave Jis Shaks Par ये सुबह हो कि वो वहाँ जाना चाहता है, उसे फौरन गिरफ्तार करके दाखिले जिंदा कर दिया जावे। हुक्म का सख्ती से तामिल हो, फर्ज समझकर। By 23rd March 1528, 1,73,000 people had sacrificed their lives defending the Janmasthan site. They fought bravely and held Mir Banki at bay, but ultimately they lost. Mir Banki set about to carry out Baba's orders to the letter. He demolished the temple and constructed a mosque at the very spot. When Mir Banki's men were constructing the mosque, it is said that the day's work used to get undone every night. Baba himself writes about this in his autobiography, Tujuk Babri. Ayodhya ke Ram Janma Bhoomi Mandir ko mismar karke jo masjid tamir ki ja rahi hai. उसकी दीवारें शाम को आप से आप गिर जाती हैं। इस पर मैंने खुद जाकर सारी बातें अपनी आंखों से देखकर चंद हिंदू अवलियाओं फकीरों को बुलाकर यह मसला उनके सामने रखा। इस पर उन लोगों ने कई दिनों तक गौर करने के बाद मस्जिद में चंद तर्मीमें करने की राय दी, जिनमें पांच खास बातें थीं, यानी परिक्रमा रहने दी जाए, सदर गुंबद के दरवाजे में लकड़ी लगा दी जाए, मीनारे गिरा दी जाए, और हिंदू महात्माओं को भजन पाठ करने दिया जावे। उनकी राय मैंने मान लिया, तब मस्जिद तैयार हो सकी। Baba's otherwise meticulous diary does not have any record for the period 12th of April 1528 to 18th September 1528. The pages are said to have been lost in the storm of 17th May 1529 or during Humayun's stay in the desert in 1540. On 3rd June 1528, Devidin Pandey from Sanethu 
and Mahabat Singh attacked Mir Banki's men. Devidin Pandey alone is said to have killed 600 men in five days. Mir Banki survived miraculously and he himself killed Devidin. On the day of Eid in 1529, Rana Ranvijay tried to liberate the Janmasthan site from the clutches of Mir Banki, but in vain. Babur died in the year 1530. His son Humayun succeeded the throne. During his regime from 1530 to 1556, Rani Jairaj Kumari and Swami Maheshwaranand made ten attempts to regain the Janmasthan site. The control of the Janmasthan site kept on intermittently passing from the hands of one side to that of the other. Akbar succeeded Humayun and turned his kingdom into an empire. During his rule, there are said to have been 20 outbreaks when Hindus fought relentlessly to regain the control of the Janmasthan site. Akbar granted permission to the Hindus in recognition of their rights to construct a platform right next to the mosque and offer puja there. The platform is today known as the Ram Chabutra. Akbar also introduced a silver coin by the name of Ram Taka with the images of Ram and Sita on either side of it. One of the courtiers of Akbar presented him with a Ramayan in a pictorial form. <laughs> Abul Fazl, the author of Akbar Nama and Aine Akbari, categorically associates Awadh with the residential place of Ram and one of the holiest places of antiquity. Meanwhile, during Jahangir's rule, William Finch visited Ayodhya somewhere between 1608 and 1611. William Finch was a traveler who has confirmed the existence of the ruins of Ram Court or the Castle of Ram. In his report, which has been quoted and reproduced by William Foster in his book, Early Travels in India. After 1658, Aurangzeb's lieutenant Jabaz Khan attacked Ayodhya but was defeated. Guru Gobind Singh's Akalis fought against his army near Ayodhya at Rudali and Sadat Ganj. In 1664, Aurangzeb himself went to Ayodhya and killed 10,000 people and demolished the Ram Chabutra. But even thereafter, the Ram Navmi celebrations continue. There were fights between Nawab Salamat Khan and Raja Gurdat Singh of Amethi and Rajkumar Singh of Pimpra. Sadiq Ali also had to face five attempts made to recapture the Janmasthan site. In 1751, the second Nawab of Awadh, Sabdar Jang, invited Malhar Rao Holkar, the eminent courtier of the Marathas, to fight against the Pathans. Malhar Rao Holkar put a condition that in return, Sabdar Jang would hand over the three holy cities of Ayodhya, Kashi and Prayag to the Hindus. Again in 1756, Shuja Uddawla asked for Maratha help when the Afghans invaded Delhi. The Maratha agent in his court demanded the transfer of the three holy cities. Shuja Uddawla agreed to it. Unfortunately, the Marathas lost the most bloody war at Panipa, and the Maratha strategy to retrieve Ayodhya fizzled out. The fate of Ayodhya and Ram Janam Bhumi remained in the dark for another century. Numerous Muslim and European writers during this century confirm that a mosque had been built by Mir Banki on Baba's orders after demolishing a temple at Ramkot. They also confirm the existence of the tradition of Ram worship at the Janmasthan site. They also confirm the existence of the practice of celebrating Ram Naomi with great gatherings of people from all over India. Let us have a look at some of these books and their authors. 
The History and Geography of India by George